Okay, in this lesson we're going to go ahead and create our first application in Salesforce. So let's go ahead and get started. So for the first thing, I'll go ahead and log into Salesforce into my developer account. Looks like it's asking for a mobile device, so I'll confirm that later. So for the very first step, you want to make sure that you're in the setup screen. So I'll click setup and then click the green add application button. This is the first step in adding an application. So I'm going to enter in the name for my application, which in this case is to-do list. Now I'm going to enter in the name for what I'm going to track, which is going to be task, and the plural of that is tasks. So I'll go ahead and create that. And now Salesforce will go ahead and create the application for me. So it created a checklist, and now I'm actually in the application. It asked me if I want to take a tour of the application, I say no. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in a couple of records. So I'm going to enter in our first task. So I'll, let me type something in here and I'll click Save and New. And then I'll enter in a second task. Let me see, we'll think of uh, doing the laundry, looks like is a good one here. So we'll put that in, click Save. And now that record is also added. So I have two records in and I'll click the task button, which shows me now all the records in, in my application. So quick and simple application and so now that we have our application running we're going to go ahead and customize this. So I've selected the setup menu and now I'm going under the object menu and we can see our task. So I click on task and we're going to click on the field and relationship portion of that because we're going to add a couple of more fields to now customize our task list to track a few more things. So I'll scroll up to custom and fields and relationships and I'll go ahead and click new and we'll add in three new fields uh, to our application. So the first one uh, I'm going to select text for the data type. So the first step in adding a custom field is selecting a data type. So now it's going to ask for a field name and length. Length because we put in a task type. So I'm going to enter in description for the field name. The length, I'm going to put in 80 characters. And now when you add a field, it asks for a simple description for your field to help document this. So I'll, I'll put in a brief description for this, a description for the description. And it will also ask for some help te text. So when users are in your application, you can put in uh, hints about what the, the particular field is that's being tracked. So I'll go ahead and put in um, a help desk, uh, a help text rather. And I'll select next. And the next piece of this is it wants to know the security um, constraints for this particular. I'm going to go ahead and select the default since this is our first application. And the last step in adding a custom field is to, to select a custom layout. So we're going to go ahead and accept the default for that and we're going to go ahead and move on to our second field that we're going to add which is going to be a priority. So in this case we're going to select pick list. So in a pick list is a typical pick list like in HTML where you're going to have a list of values that you select from. So for the field label I'm going to enter the, the name for priority and I'm going to select the second um, we're not going to use a predefined list, so I'm going to go ahead and type in a list. So I'm going to select low, medium, and high. Once again, there's a description and help text for this field. So I'll go ahead and enter those in as well. So it's, it's a good idea to really be thorough when you are entering in these fields so that you don't have to come back later and, and enter these in later. So. Uh, putting in the help text and once I'm done with that I'll go ahead and select um, the next button. There we go. So now once again it's going to show us the uh, security. We're going to go ahead and accept the defaults. Same for the page layout. Once again we'll go ahead and accept the defaults here. And we're going to enter in one last field which is a due date for our task. So we'll select the date data type. We're going to select next. And once again, we're asked a prompt to enter in the field label and field name. So I'll go ahead and enter in due date. The same for the field name. Notice the field name gets generated for you um, 
spaces are not allowed in the actual field name, so it appends an underscore for, or replaces an, an underscore for the space rather. So we're putting in a description. Now I'll go ahead and enter in the help text. And once I complete that, once again, I'll select the next button. Go ahead and finish this up. Select next. We'll go ahead and accept the security and the page layouts. And I clicked save on this case. So now it takes me back to my custom object for task. And I just want to verify that all the new fields I've added are in there. So that looks okay. So now let's go ahead and test out our application. So I clicked on tasks in the tab bar and it takes us back to the application. So I'm going to now enter in a few more tasks and notice now our fields that we just added are visible in the entry screen. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in some data, make sure all this is working okay. I'll select a priority for this task. There we go, I'll select medium, and I go ahead and select a, a due date. Notice that date fields automatically have the calendar date picker available for them. So I'll click save and new so that it takes me right back to the entry screen for a new record. So I'll go ahead and enter in one more task here. So it looks like, let's see here, uh, clean out the sock drawer. I'm gonna have to make that a, uh, a low priority. So I'll go ahead and enter in a brief description for this. Select a priority and a due date for the task. I'll click save instead of save and new and it takes me back to the actual record, the task that I just entered. Now I click on the tasks and now we can see all of our tasks are visible that we've entered uh, along with our new data fields. So that's really it. Um, that's how to uh, select our new application. You'll notice now that I can navigate to the application by looking at the um, application menu on the upper right hand screen. So that's it really for this uh, exercise. Quick and easy, uh, less than 10 minutes to create a fully functional application uh, with customization. Very, very simple to maintain. Uh, quick and easy to put together applications in Salesforce and customize them and really get something up in, in, in a hurry. So that's it for this lesson. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next lesson.